Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to talk about a TV show called Justified. The show started in 2010, ended in 2015, with six seasons. It's described as an American Western crime drama, although I guess you can say that it is. He wears a hat and his references to it, but it's a modern day TV show about a marshal, a U.S. marshal. The show is fantastic. It stars Timothy Oliphant, Walton Goggins, a slew of other great actresses and actors, actors. Everything works well on the show. And it's been a while since I had a really good cop show. His charm works. Uh, the subject matter ranges here and there. It has enough wit and charm to keep it a little light at times. But the stakes get high, and the show really hits a high mark. I think it had some critical acclaim, and um, it was developed by Graham Yost. I think he's gone on to do some other things and had some uh, success here and there. All in all, I liked every season. It was a show that I actually watched with a friend, and week to week would keep up on it. It took me through a weird time in my life, but getting together with friends and enjoying the show, it uh, helped a lot. And the show is top quality, season to season, the through lines, the way they keep the pacing is well done. The legend or the myth they create and develop about uh, the main character, Raylan Givens. It's pretty funny and pretty fun ride from beginning to end. The drama here and there, it gets a little over the top and it's done so well. You get this opening. I don't give away a lot of plots and, um, you know, spoilers, but the show starts off really interesting. I think he's in Florida and oh, he wears a cowboy hat. So he's in Florida with a suit on. He's a marshal. He goes to this patio um, dinner, lunch type thing, and there's this guy there. I know the actor is from Unusual Suspects. He was like a B character. He set up a gang or something like that. And he's sitting at the table, and Raylan, the character, Timothy Oliphant, goes, sits down with him, and he's like, you know, I gave you till noon to leave. And there's, there's talk about why Raylan is so dead set on getting back at this guy and it just culminates in something that just shocked me and it cuts to the um officer in charge i guess his superior screaming at him and then he gets put to another place and um i think he goes to um new orleans or kentucky it's just weird seeing him go from this um you know florida setting and then he goes to uh, I think it's Lexington, Kentucky. It's just crazy. The gunplay, the violence is enough. It never gets too crazy, but some things just blow you away. The way it's filmed, the chemistry between the characters, the uh, audacity of some of the things they pull off as a crime drama show. And it's still weird that they call it a western, but I guess I could understand that the opening theme is kind of westerny. I would give this show a chance just to see how it starts off so crazy. It's just one of those scenes that um, I'm even tempted to say what actually happens. But like I said, he goes to this criminal and sits down with him at lunch or whatever and says, you know, I gave you till noon to get out of town. You know, it just becomes a shit show. It's just... And this reputation carries on with him throughout the seasons as um more dilemmas happen and you know you're, you're wrapped up in this martial business and he's um expert firearms type guy and it just gets really crazy with some of the things they put him in some of the situations and you got the locals 
some crazy hillbilly types, uh, drug runners. The way the characters are brought together and there's a little history between some of the so-called villains and Raylan as a youth coming up from the same type of upbringing, you know, going to be a coal miner, that type of thing. Then there's this connection Raylan has with his father. It's just outrageous and heartfelt at times. Just how crazy you can get in certain situations. So I think they did everything well. And he's transplanted to Kentucky to do that whole transition. He's got a wife, ex-wife, wife, and <clears throat> just gets really crazy with everybody at the police force, making friends and you know, he's the odd one and he's the risk taker and he's always getting into trouble. It's just and it's the way he plays the character is so well and the development over the six seasons they'll carry storylines with the beginning villains and they'll fade into the back for season two or three. But they keep coming back and the important ones, the really good um performances. Those get elevated, the show keeps raising the bar. Excellent show from beginning to end. Like I said, I don't think anybody can find many faults in the show. Although if you're just someone who doesn't like that type of show, okay, I get it. But I was so pleased with watching the seasons and anticipating. And they're like 13 episode seasons. They're not um, 24. Really good storytelling. The right pacing. The blend of him going into certain situations and areas of town or the mountains. The scenery is great. I will talk about, I might even do a, uh, I don't know, hmm, which one would I release first? Deadwood? Because I'm a real fan of Deadwood, uh, Timothy Oliphant's actual western show. I'll probably do one on that. And just like that one, just the way the cast comes together, well done, well done all around. Someone should get an award. Um, maybe they have gotten an award. But Justified. Cop drama. Uh, played, performed, what, superior, superior to many other shows. It's been a while since I watched the show. Like, um, you know, you're going to get into like Beretta or Stoshke and Hutch. And there have been some great ones throughout the years. Maybe even Hill Street Blues. I remember really getting into that. It's portrayal of gangs and the police force was unique at the time there's not many that I could really think of in the later years this one was just perfect timing for me going through a hard time in my life but I had friends show we watched together and I'll be thankful for that but I find myself going back to the show watching it um getting more enjoyment out of it when I think of some things to watch and I jump back and forth between something new or a recommendation or something that I could put on that lets me do some writing or do some work in another area because I've seen it so many times I don't have to pay attention to something new it's something I find I go to and put it on just doesn't um never disappoints Watch Justified. I don't know. I guess it's all over the place now. It ended in if it ended in 2015 on FX. It's probably on most streaming services. And like I said, you got 13 episode seasons. It's not that big of a binge. Like I kind of get a little crazy when I think of oh, I got to catch up on the Flash or one of those shows. You got 22 episodes, Supergirl. Oh, it's nice. I think uh, the Netflix. Marvel shows, that formula works well. 8 to 13 might be the sweet spot for me. And it's just a new way, new trend of things that seems to work well with me. I'm sure I could find plenty of shitty shows <laughs> if I looked that are 8 to 13. I guess maybe that's the sweet spot for a, a really good story without too much filler that you know, makes you roll your eyes, certain episodes that have no weight to them, that type of thing. But the show never lets down. 
keeps improving up in the stakes. The growth of the character, his reputation, everything around um, an edgy, over the top, pushing the boundaries, Marshall. All the stakes, the threats, even some of the zany and wackiness, the charm of it works on all levels. Give it a try. And I hope everybody's doing well. Take care, everybody.